Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Custom Ventures. All right, so today we're we'll be comparing the Apple Watch Ultra Gen 2 versus a clone that is supposedly better. All right, let's do this. All right, so on the left right here, I have the Apple Watch Ultra Gen 2. Costs about $800, and it is no slouch. A beautiful, very nice watch. And we have the smartwatch. No idea what it is actually called, but this is off of Timu. Costs about $30 to $40. And this one is supposed to be better because it has some added features, if you can't tell from the packaging. All right, let's get, let's unbox the two. On the left here, we have the Apple Watch Ultra box. Opening the Apple Watch Ultra. We have the nice unboxing right here. Unfortunately, this clone does not mimic the, the unboxing of the Apple Watch Ultra. But I will be looking for a clone that does. It's coming soon, don't worry. So there's Apple Watch right here. Then we get the actual watch itself. The charger. All right, we have the charge right here, and then we have the additional band right there. Clone right here. So this one says a smartwatch on the front, has an image of two Apple Watches, or two looking Apple Watches. And on the back, we have a QR code, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Anyways, okay, opening that. Looks like we have some possible reasons for no sound. Okay, cool. Cool, thank you. I love how it's all the same words. Bruh. Instructions, don't care. And we have the actual watch itself. Ooh. For the first time, please tear off before using it. Okay. Cool. This is so interesting looking. It has this like weird reflective film on it. Looks like we have a charging cable. Okay. Magnetic charging on the bottom. Beige looking band. All right. All right. So this is the pairing process. It has you go through the, has you scan for this app. It's called the Hey Link app and you pair it through there. Shouldn't be too hard to set up if you buy this product. All right. So I have the two watches side by side and this is the two apps that we get. This is the Apple Watch app and this is the Hey Link Connect app. It looks like they're pretty similar. Actually, we have both have the same three things on the dock right here. We got this one says home, this one says my watch, this says face gallery, this says device, this says personal center, this says discover. So it's almost like a clone, similar looking like for the Apple Watch app itself. This one's called the DH watch. It's connected. You got the battery right here. My dial looks like you can change. Oh, wow. You can change whatever dial you want. What the heck? This is so similar to the Apple Watch. Now we're installing the new dial. Whoa, look at that. Let's check what else we have in the apps here. So that's the dial area. We got message and notifications. Oh, looks like I can get notifications from all of these apps right here. I would like to notice. Cool, cool. SMS, frequent contacts. Oh, looks like you can add contacts. So it's added a contact in there. Very nice. I guess that makes it so you can do it. You can unlink the device. The Apple one, you have all these settings. So it looks like we have a bunch of settings as well. Looks like we have heart rate, which the Apple Watch does as well. We have blood oxygen, which the Apple Watch does as well. We have a sleep indicator and blood pressure. It seems to be about the same. We'll be testing these to see if they're actually true or not. This is more settings, preference settings. Okay, this is talks about my body. Okay, device. We have an alarm clock, health monitoring. Looking pretty similar. <laughs> all right, so I'll be going over all the physical difference that I can find between the two. Looking at the two side by side, when I do these comparisons, a lot of times the clones are like pretty much exactly the same like one to one. This clone is slightly different in a few ways, but it makes up for it in those added features. There are a few differences that are to be noted. For example, the clone is quite a bit thicker than the original Apple Watch. This seems to be a little justified just because there are earbuds in the body of it. The face itself is also a little bit longer than the original and the screen has a bit of a chin on the bottom, where the original is more squared and more symmetrical. The screen on the original Apple Watch is also much brighter than this clone's. The clone looks like it's an LCD where the Apple Watch is the nice OLED display. This making it much easier to see in broad daylight. So, I mean, if you're outside and it's bright, you can still see your screen, where on the clone, it does struggle a bit more to see the screen. Looking at the right side of the case, the original has its classic layout with the crown and then the button, where the clone takes it a different approach and it has just a button on the side. Still, they both have the raised area like the original Ultra design. On the other side of the case, the Apple Watch has its classic action button and speaker grill, where the clone has nothing on that side. Also, the build in general for the clone is all plastic where the original is a nice titanium. Looking at the back of the watch, they didn't even try to copy them. The Apple Watch has a ceramic back that is circular with all the sensors, where the clone just has a few sensors and two contact points for charging. The clone has an all plastic back as well. Even the band connectors are different on the clone. But all those things aside, this clone has something very special that no other Apple Watch has ever done. Think about if you were to combine an Apple Watch, well, with AirPods. I mean, that would be incredible. You never have to bring your AirPods around ever again because they're already on your wrist. Honestly, it's a genius idea. Well. 
Dream no longer. There's this little lip on the clone that you can open up and below it reveals two pairs of earbuds. That is insane. And the earbuds charge in there like they're a normal Bluetooth earbud case. The earbuds have two clips that keep them in place so you can open and close them without any problems. The screen even stays on when you open it and has this awesome animation that shows that your earbuds are in use. The earbuds themselves are basically the classic design of the AirPods Gen 1 and Gen 2, where they don't have any ear tips and they just kind of rest on the outer part of your ear. I love how the screen will also stay on when the case is open. And when you put them back in the watch, they say earphones in watch. I think this is the most innovative feature in an Apple Watch I've seen in years. Please, Apple, do this, please. Okay, Nick, can you help me out? Yeah, dude, what's up? Okay, there's two Apple Watches right here. Yeah. One is fake, one is real. Can you take a look at them for a second? Yeah. So that's the real one. This is the fake one. Let's take that touch screen. Yeah, so, so far it's not too bad. Watch this, bro. What? What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> In an Apple Watch, dude. That is so sick. Oh my. And it, like it still works. Oh my gosh. That is gotta be literally one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Okay, all right, here we go. Okay. So look at the two. Okay, which one's the real? This one. Okay, all right. Now turn this one on, just like play with it. Tell me your thoughts. It seems fake. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so do you have AirPods? On me, yeah. Okay, so watch this. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what? No way. This is a great idea. All right, so now we're gonna be taking a closer look at the UI. We have the real on the left here, and we have the fake on the right. It does not have tap to awake, like the original. If you swipe down, you get your notifications just like that. If you swipe up, fake one turns off pretty quickly. You get a little menu, which is not exactly like the Apple Watch, but if you click the button, that is where it's a similar display right here. The Apple Watch obviously more fluid. This one actually has the earbuds on there. Battery, you have the flashlight. Oh, oh, oh. You have the battery percentage of NFC and do not disturb as well. If we were to click the crown, it'll bring us to the apps and this one will bring us to the apps as well. Our app menu is a little bit different here. As you can tell, we have like the, all the apps right here where the clone, they're all into the apps like this. All the apps do look like the Apple apps. Whoa, you even have a little side menu. Go back, go. We have a sleep app, we have the weather app. All right, comparing the two weather apps. The LCD is super bright and so it's kind of getting blown out. Well, the original weather app is definitely better. Activity app. Oh, alarm, calendar, settings, timer, heart rate, workout phone, and menu style. Oh, oh yeah. That's more like. Now we have the grid style like the original Apple Watch here. Look at those two side by side. All right, so now I have the two side by side on my arm. I'm gonna be seeing which one is more accurate. So we'll do the heart rate first. Okay. Looks like we got 73 on the Apple Watch. Let's see for our fake here. Okay, 68, interesting. Let's see what happens when we measure the floor. Oh, okay, so I think it does work. Okay, let's check our blood oxygen. All right, looks like it takes longer to do. Looks like they replicated the animation here. Oh, what the? No way. Okay, they both said 95. Let's see the blood oxygen level of the table here. If it does the blood oxygen, it means it's fake. What? No way. I mean, it seems like the blood oxygen might work. If you were to have this watch, honestly, it's not too bad. And you just connected to your phone. You have the earbuds right here. The battery life seems to be pretty decent as well. All right, so if you were to have this watch and you just open them up just like this, see it has a little animation right there. Put the earbuds in your ears. So what it'll show up in your phone is it'll show up as two different Bluetooths. First, you have D8 watch right there, see? And then at the top, you'll have the D8 TWS, which is the earbuds. So there are two different Bluetooth connections that connect with the headphones and then the watch. And you basically just play music from your phone to the earbuds. It is not like you play music through the, the watch to the earbuds, but just from the phone to the earbuds. Let's test the audio quality. It does have touch functions on the side. One tap to pause, two taps to skip. Oh, three taps for Siri. Oh, tap and hold the right earbud to change the volume up and tap and hold the left earbud to change the volume down. Okay, so when it comes to the audio quality of the actual earbuds, they're pretty good overall. For some reason, the left earbud is a little bit quieter than the right earbud, but honestly, for what you get for the price, they're pretty solid, they're pretty solid. Would recommend. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have other things you'd like me to check out, leave them in the comments. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and peace.